yeah, you know, I really didn't want to do this. I really didn't want to make this video. Well, I actually wanted to make the real video that I wanted to make, which was about Tana. And Tana is the new productivity OS app that everyone's been talking about. You know, they say it's the everything OS. Well, using this kind of verbiage is pretty much just a way to get productivity nerds to get your product. I will say, when are you going to actually approve people to get into the app? Because I've noticed this trend on Twitter, and I've noticed it with myself, where people, if I look up Tana app waitlist, on a wait list from Tana Inc. Yeah, a bunch of people saying waiting to get off the waiting list is killing my soul. And, and I answered a lot of different questions, right? Like there's this thing that, that I wanna let you guys know. I have been waiting since October 7th, planned on having this video released on December 6th, and I'm recording this on November 29th. I have waited long enough. And this is a problem that comes up with a lot of different applications. So first of all, TLDR, Tana's like, a wannabe notion obsidian hybrid that's got tags there we go that's the app congratulations and we've got a lot of really good things being said in the community people are geeking out about this thing they, they love it and what their plan is for pricing is that once this comes out of the beta stage it'll be ten dollars a month or 100 a year and you get a 45 day free trial they're also hoping to offer freemium combined with free trial subscriptions as well as free subscriptions for students Storage limitations of images, videos, and other binary file types will apply for those free plans. But uh, this happens with other apps that have this like request style. They don't really have anything in the public that talks about how long it takes for these waits. And then I get comments consistently from people like, can't get access to cron. How do you do that? Sign up for the waiting list on cron's website. If you have already done this, I apologize for not being of any help. And as a productivity app YouTuber, this gets annoying very quick. Now, you might be saying, all right, man, let's, let's just calm down. The word annoying seems a little harsh for this, but like, I've been waiting since October 7th. You can't be that groundbreaking of an application if your customer service can't even get people like approved to join the app in, in that long. I mean, look at this, it looks cool. Like, I get it. You're trying to be Notion and Obsidian at the same time. Congratulations. We all get what you're doing. And it'd be really cool if those two things kind of mixed. But I can't give you free publicity if I can't review your app with my platform. I am up very early recording this video. And I wanted to have a nice start to my string of batch recordings. And you did not make it good. So Tana and other applications that have these early access signups have something showcasing what the wait is. And not only just show how many people there are waiting, but indicate a guesstimate as to how long you will be kept waiting. And if you can't guess, do better. Just kidding, I don't know. Find a way to or communicate the fact that it's a little bit inconsistent based on your current amount of employees. Lack of communication equals people get annoyed. So, and while people might get annoyed by my videos, if you don't, there's no one right here that'll actually help you be productive.